Mm-hmm. I think it's messed up right now. Hey, baby doll. I think it's coming through right now. I'm still getting used to this whole streaming thing. Oh, I reset all of my stuff, too. Hmm. Well, today, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of coasters. Because there's a show going to be happening here in the next month or so. Yeah, there's going to be a show in the next month or so, and I'm trying to get prepared for it. Because it takes about two weeks to get these to cure properly. And I want to get them painted. That way I can get them all cured. How are you doing today? Hey, Tish, how you guys doing? This is probably going to be a fairly long stream. So, but I got some pretty interesting colors. I got a bunch of these uh, Extreme Sheen Deco Art stuff. There's a AC Moore in my area that's going out of business, and it's unfortunate for them, but it's very fortunate for me. I'm doing pretty good. I decided to just take the day today to do this because I know it's going to take me a, a decent amount of time, but definitely wanted to get it done because it has to get done. All right, so it takes about an ounce of color for each one of these. I didn't realize that these are super fluid already, these little deco art ones. The extreme sheens are already really fluid. So I have pearl because I think that it would look amazing. Uh, I have like an emerald green, a red gold, or a garnet is what they call it. And then a deep sapphire blue that I'm going to be messing with and testing here. Never really painted with these colors before. Yeah, AC Moore is awesome. Um, unfortunately, they've gotten so far to the point that they're almost sold out of everything that, I mean, they have canvases, but they're all canvases that are like two feet by three feet. They're just ginormous and unrealistic for me to paint on unless I'm actually selling them. Yeah, today will be the first day I've actually started using these extreme sheen colors. I need to get a better scale because this thing right now, even though there's paint in there, it's saying there's not no grams, which is impossible. So So where in the country are you guys from? Still trying to figure out what's going on in North Carolina over here because the weather doesn't seem to want to be normal at all. Tennessee? Oh, my, my little brother lives in Tennessee. Uh, Carryville, I think it is. I apologize, my voice is probably shaky because I'm like going crazy with this paint bottle right now. I don't think it was shooken enough. it was super liquid and now it's not so I think that whole little part was jacked up a little bit Minneapolis 47 there huh Doris welcome so like I was explaining what's going on I know I strained this that's not cool all right anyway um well Doris Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Um, like I was saying to everybody else, uh, there's a show coming up here at Dirtbag Ales. It's like a brewery. And I actually applied. I've been told my girl, 
has been telling me to do that, to apply and go sell some of this stuff and get it out of here, but I don't know. I'm never in a, in a rush to sell it. I kind of like it. I don't want to get rid of it. But we'll see. I'm kind of excited about it. I'm not stepping on anybody's normal streaming time, am I? I hope I'm not. Because I know, Tish, you do yours, your coffee stuff in the morning too, and I don't want to step on you. I'm just messing around with different times. Because now some, some people can watch me in Europe at this time. <laughs> do it. Yeah, I need to. Because, I mean, this whole wall back here is full. I think I added last night... 15 extra listings to my Etsy shop. So that made her happy. That put a little smile on her face. So that was nice. I don't have to listen to it as much. Because <laughs> she's just trying to help me, I know. But I'm stubborn. Like most men are. Alright, so right now I'm just going to be using Extreme Sheen on every color. I got the pearl, the blue, the green, the red. may have not mixed enough of these colors, but we'll see. I'm still finding it super awkward to like try to read the chat and pay attention to what I'm doing. I get into like the super focused mode over here. I don't know if any of you have experienced that too. How's your back feeling? Is your back feeling better? Should be looking over here, right? Yeah, I need more paint. It's the only thing that's unfortunate. I think I'm gonna end up going through a whole lot of these colors just for one set of coasters, then I'm gonna have to go to my other paints. My more heavy body paints. you guys could come out. I tried to publish a video this morning too, a little earlier. Normally I publish it at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today I tried to upload it around 9. See if people from different time zones can get involved with it a little bit better. So I'm still figuring things out around here. Oh wow, that's got to get out of there. See, I strained this flow trawl, but it's still got chunks in it again. I don't know. It's like I have a, I think I have a problem. More blue. I really hope everything's working out for you, Tish. Because I can understand back pain. I don't know how how you injured it, but I have a bunch of joints that don't want to function properly now that I got out of the army. Things just don't work like they used to work. Curious how this pearl is going to contrast with actual colors. I even got some some different. Yeah. Oh, you like the garnet? Yeah. 
I mean, red is like my absolute favorite color anyway. Most of the things I do, if I can help it, I will add a red to it. Even if it doesn't need to have a red, I'll add it. But I'm liking how fluid these paints are already. They're just... They almost come out of the bottle. Well, you need to add Floetrol to them, but they almost come out of the bottle pre-mixed. I even saw these over there too. I've never worked with like glow-in-the-dark paints before, but who knows. I'll try them. Let's see what they're like. Doris. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm sorry to hear that, Tish. That's terrible. Do you get some kind of like workman's comp or something like that? Since now I'm sure you're not able to work the way you used to work. Alright, so cooking it a little. There's not very much paint in these cups, so I don't want to add too much because I don't want it to go crazy flowing off the canvas or the, the tile canvas. Here starting tomorrow, I'm going to have three little kids running around in here for about a week or so, so I need to try to get these done and, and dried out before they show up. Alright, so I'm going to start layering with the blue. I'm hoping you guys can see all this. Yeah, you, well, you should be able to see all this. So I'm going to layer in the blue first. So these coasters, it should take maybe an ounce to coat the whole thing. Not much. <laughs> That's cute, Tish. You're not very good at being mothered, huh? I know somebody like that, too. God, this green is just phenomenal looking. Beautiful color. And then this pearl. Trying to get it to like sink down. It's typically whites are a little heavier and they sink down in the colors, but it doesn't look like that's the way this one is. Maybe because it's not actually a white. Four days to, to art is awesome. As long as you can have you can be in a comfortable position while you're doing it though. That's the only thing, right? So the blue is done. Uh, maybe a little bit more green, and then that's probably actually enough paint to cover this coaster. Cause I don't. I'm trying to conserve paint because I have, like I said, six other sets of coasters that I got to do. So these are gonna make enough of a mess. Dang, ten hours a day. I don't miss those those types of work days at all. You can only do so much, really. Right. So I wonder where my mess is gonna be at first. I wonder if I'm gonna knock a coaster over. If that'll be my first mess. So let me prepare for that now. 
Have you guys ever tried to do like really long live streams? Yeah. I hear you, Doris, for sure. I'm glad to be in a position right now where I can eh, almost make my own schedule for the most part. Um, being retired from the military, it's not really enough money to live off. Well, it's enough to live off. You just have to be super frugal, and I'm very impulsive, and I have a hard time doing that. Uh, three hour live streams about the longest. I'm, I'm just like wondering um, what a longer form live stream, how it would perform. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping these over, get them started. Oh wow, okay. The green is crazy. The cells are a little bit different in this type of paint, it seems that way. It'll buff out though once I apply the heat from the heat gun. Oh, there you go. That's a nice one right there. Right, I'm just trying to keep it centered for the most part. I didn't add all the painter's tape to either side. I probably should have. Yeah, that green is crazy. Oh, hey, Chris, how's it going? Oh, man, VA appointment? I hope you're not there too long. Typically, VA appointments take forever. Applying more heat than I normally would because I want that silicone to start pushing through a little bit more than it is. This one, the lacing in this thing is nuts. And I'm trying to not do um, embellishments if I don't have to on these. Like if I can get them to look really good on their own, that's. That would be the dream right now, because I don't want to have to mess with them too much. So how many of you knew about that trick? Did you guys see that video by Smart Art, uh, Olga, Olga Sobi, I think her name is, where she made a video about cleaning resin, and then one thing that she does to avoid the resin uh, not sticking to the painting is she takes a gel medium and paints it on She like dilutes it with the uh, one part medium one part water brushes it on lets it dry and it acts as like a barrier coat I'm actually trying that so last night. I got some of that pouring medium and I brushed it on a couple of the paintings. I haven't cleaned yet I'm Trying to test it out Oh, thank you so much, Doris. I appreciate that. So I'm trying. I'm, I'm going to try that technique that she she did the video on. Because if it's that easy, because I've been... I've been struggling with this baby oil. Or not baby oil, but a baby powder or, you know, cornstarch and all this other stuff. And if I could have just, just simply done, you know, paint a a coat of medium over my paintings to stop the resin from reacting poorly with the, uh, the silicone, and that would have saved me so much time. So I'm doing my test on that. I mean, she's she does it. She sells paintings, so... Yeah. I'll let you know, Doris, for sure. I'm excited about it, because if, if it really works the way she's explaining it in the video, like, that's such a time saver. It was really helpful for her to share that. Yeah, these 
these greens. Green is awesome looking. Really pretty. I feel like a swipe of these would be awesome. Like a swipe with these really shiny, shimmery metallics. Maybe I'll try a swipe on the next set of coasters. Oh, really? You just use the, uh, what, like a polycrylic for your clear coat? Because I have some polycrylic. I have some polycrylic from my failed attempts. Everybody knows when the Dutch pour and, like, the blooms and stuff were super popular and everybody was trying it. Yeah, I tried that. It didn't work out so well. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit not technical enough to figure all that stuff out, but who knows. I really don't want to dump this lacing off though, because it's like really pretty pearl with blue and then red cells in the middle of it. And then it's got green right on the outside edges. I don't want to pour that off, if I can keep that. So you like that rust oleum spray too? And one thing that got me, thank you so much Doris, um, one thing that got me super into trying to find alternative ways is because um, I painted something a few years ago and it's listed on my Etsy shop right now and then recently I want to say Three weeks ago, somebody bought it, but they had a special request that I resin it. And, you know, this is one of the first few paintings I ever did, so I used way too much silicone. And it was a swipe, too, so it was all really into the, the paint. And her requesting me to resin it, I think it's because I'm so new at this whole selling thing that I agreed to it. But in hindsight... I should have never agreed to it because it was an absolute nightmare trying to resin that piece. Because I cleaned it as good as I could, but it, it was so old that I don't know if, if the oil was just kind of stuck in the paint, but it did not want to come out of the paint. And I had such a hard time. Like I cleaned it as best I could. I put resin on it and that very first top layer of resin there's just pits everywhere in the resin, and it was terrible. And I was like, great, now I'm going to have such a hard time getting this clean. Oh, man, I was having a hard time. All right, so I'm going to hit these with a heat gun again, and then we'll be able to move on to our next set of coasters. I'm going to have to move them over there to dry, so... I'm trying to see if I can get any other cell activity going on. I mean, with this deco art stuff, I could probably even do chameleon cells if I really wanted to, but I don't, I don't want to disrupt the natural look of these. Plus, this one's already doing really well over here on the, your, your left, my right. So I don't want to disrupt that already. Oh, thank you so much, baby doll. I appreciate that. All right, so now I'm gonna move these, so you're gonna, it's gonna take a second, the lights are gonna shift and stuff like that, but I'm coming right back, I promise. I really appreciate you guys coming out and showing support and stuff like that. It's super inspiring to see you guys taking time out of your day to come support me. And I'm getting closer and closer every day to a thousand subs, which is awesome. Pretty soon I'll have my own little community button, which will be cool. Because then I can post about 
when I'm going to be live and stuff like that and try to get a little bit more interest in it. You guys are awesome. You're very supportive and helpful. And I can't really tell you how much gratitude I have for that. So what do you guys do about, um, recently I've had a whole bunch of people coming into my comments and some of them I just delete, like they, hey, I'm uh, like number 37 and I'm sub number 700, I do baby stuff on my channel, you should come by and sub to me too. I feel like that would be counterproductive. Oh goodness, look out. I feel like that would be counterproductive. Anyway. Hey, IG, how's it going? Yeah, that barrier is probably the most important thing. Thank you so much, Tammy. So yeah, this is like a little marathon. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but we're gonna do as many of these as we can today. So I need to get them painted and dried off before kiddos get here. Three boys. 13, 13, 11, and 6. So they're super rambunctious, but I love them. They're awesome. All right, so we're going to add a little bit. Uh, let's do something different. I always use reds. So we're going to do something different. This one will be a chameleon cell one, but not as bad as that one I did the other night. Because it tends to, when I'm on stream doing them, for some reason, they don't seem to work like they do when I'm alone. It's super weird, but it is what it is. So I'm only going to use three colors on this one. You ignore them, Tish. Yeah, it's against YouTube policy, but also, like, the way I see it is, let's say I paint, right? And they stumbled on me maybe because I don't even know why. Um, but if they're not interested in, in watching me paint, then what am I doing right now? I'm being retarded. Hold on. Let me reset this brain real quick. Um, but if they're not interested in the content, they're, they're not going to watch my videos, so it's just like having a dead subscriber, basically. I don't know if that's the right way to put it, or if that's rude to say, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to have my hands full, baby doll, that's for sure. Oh, your name almost got me in trouble on my very first live stream. No, my second live stream. Because uh, my girlfriend was, like, sitting out in the living room, and... started saying baby doll on, on the live stream. She's like, who are you talking to? Who's your baby doll? I was like, uh-oh. It's not what you think. I love these pre colors for this. It just makes everything so much easier. They're more expensive, and I feel like they are overpriced, but I mean, they definitely do the job, and they do what you want, so. Uh, yeah, so. I'm going to do smaller layers this time, because that one, I feel like the green took over. I think the layers are just too thick. But I'm, I'm not adding any silicone to these right now. I'm just going to do a flip cup with them, apparently with only three cups, because I didn't pour the fourth cup yet. And I'm super smart today. Yeah, that's that's one of the problems here too, baby doll, is they're always sold out. Even online, even when I try to get them online, they're sold out, which is kind of crazy. But it is what it is. Try to get them any way I can.
yeah, watch time, see the, the watch time and engagement. But if I have somebody that's, you know, they have a baby channel and they're just trying to get a sub out of me by subbing to my channel, they're not going to watch anything. I mean, I don't feel like they would. Because especially if, like, it doesn't seem like we share any interest at all. I feel like they would. It's like a sub for sub type thing. Which I'd rather have somebody that comes over here, you know, they watch because they enjoy the process or maybe, you know, the vibe of the channel is something that they they enjoy. I've also been doing a lot of like a little research on s streaming and a lot of people suggest you stream on Twitch, which I don't I don't know much about Twitch. I know they people play video games over there. That's really all I know. Yeah, that's true. Everybody is different, Tish, you're right. I painted an amazing set of coasters with these that, I mean, I love them. They were chameleon so, uh, style coasters also. I'm wondering if they're, you know, they're stacked up all the way across the room, so. But uh, on the thumbnail of this video, I put those coasters I painted in the background of that thumbnail. So do you guys paint coasters often? Do you? What is your process for getting them prepared to be painted? I'm just wondering if there's something I can maybe glean from you guys that I'm not doing, which is quite possible. Hmm. So no silicone, just colors blending with each other right now. I might have actually used the right amount of paint, guys. What's going on here? Something might be broken. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, clean it with alcohol to get any kind of um, particulates and stuff that might be on the surface. My process is pretty similar to yours. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've seen a lot of decent growth based off consistency of uploads, so. Yeah, I know, right? I do tend to waste a whole lot of paint. I think it's because I eyeball most of the colors and I don't really measure. I mean, I do. I have recently started measuring more, but a lot of the times I get too overexcited and I just want to get it down and, and paint. So I don't measure. So that's my problem, but there's not much on here, so I'm going to have to actually control it. Luckily, it's thin enough to where it won't matter that much. I just realized I pulled that all the way off the screen. So anybody wanting to watch that, it, it went well. So I'm kind of hoping when I do apply the silicone to this that it uh, shows a little bit more of that uh, baby blue color through the dark blue to add that contrast. Or not dark blue, that's purple. Yeah, I'm sure with, with, well, definitely with baking, like, don't ask me to bake anything, because if I don't have a, a direct recipe, I see so many people and they can eyeball this stuff, like, they've been, I guess, baking for years, so it's second nature, and they don't, like, measure. I can burn water in the microwave. Like, you, I have set popcorn on fire in my microwave before. So, for me, like, if there's no recipe, then I'm going to have to find one. It's kind of an interesting story, my popcorn story. 
So I have been probably partaking of the adult beverages a little bit more than I should have, um, you know? And it said put it in there for three minutes or until the popping, you know, stops or whatever. So I go up to the microwave, I punch in three zero zero. I guess I hit an extra zero somewhere in there. But with the, the music in the, in, in the house and all that stuff, I did not hear it continuing to, or I didn't hear when it actually stopped popping. So I think it was in there for a good 15 minutes um, before, <laughs> before the smoke started billowing out of my kitchen. It was terrible. And the house reeked of burned popcorn for weeks and weeks. Bye, IG. Thank you for stopping by. It was great. Yeah, so. If I don't have a recipe, guys, I just, I tend to, I'll, I'll find one before I'll try to burn my house down. It's a necessity, but it's a necessity. I gotta have it. I wonder if that's gonna... It's oh, one of them useless notifications. So what do you guys got planned for the rest of your day today? I know it's still early in the morning. Oh, you don't own a microwave, so you're safe? Yeah, that's, that is a way. I have a hard time without a microwave because um, I meal prep a lot. I used to be really big into weightlifting and bodybuilding and please do not look up the channel JMO Fitness. Yeah, JMO Painting, JMO Fitness. Just don't look it up. I've made so many cringy videos. <laughs> that was my very first channel and it was more of an experiment than anything else, but yeah. I used to have to meal prep a lot, because if I didn't meal prep, I would eat anything and everything, and I would have been very unhealthy, and with the way my lifestyle was back then, I kind of needed to. Oh, okay, Tammy, well, I know. I figured somebody would eventually find it anyway, just because it's, if somebody was to ever just type in JMO, you're going to find, it's almost the same thumbnail picture and everything for the, for my face, so I felt like somebody would quickly make that distinction. But yeah, I was big into like working out and trying to help people with fitness goals and stuff like that. I had aspirations to maybe be a personal trainer one day, but shifted gears to painting because there was more stress in making all those videos than I've experienced at all doing these because it felt more like a job making those. This is just doing something I enjoy doing anyway. I need to fix that, but I can't touch my phone. No, can't touch it. Popsicle stick, go. There. Crisis averted. Oh. Uh, if I told you what my diet plan was for probably the last four years, you guys would probably not believe I'm still alive. I don't know. I would live, I've lived off of chicken breast. So I would eat every meal. So about five meals a day, six ounces of chicken breast and six ounces of rice for five meals a day. And then the majority of what I would drink is just water. I'd go to the gym once in the morning and then go to the gym again in the afternoon if I had the time to do it. And it was, it's still something I'm passionate about, but it's not something I wanted to try to build a life on because I feel like it's not really sustainable. I mean, working out is easy. Everybody gets interested in it for a short period of time and then it kind of dies out is what I've noticed All the people that I've tried to help their short-term intensity 
can't be maintained. Because you need that long-term consistency to see real results. I don't know why I'm on this fitness topic, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get off of it. We're here, we're painting. All right. So now hopefully these chameleon cells will actually work out the way I want them to. Because th during the last year the other day, they, they did not end up as intended. Yeah. Working out at home is a lot more, uh, a lot easier. And you don't have to deal with all the people too, which is awesome. Especially around the holiday season. Right after Christmas is when it would just get jam-packed full of people. Well, these cells are opening up pretty nicely. A lot better. You having coffee with her right now, or are you doing the the channel thing? So I know she has that coffee with Tish in the mornings, which is a pretty cool idea. Thank you very much, Sammy. I appreciate it. Yeah, the cells. I've noticed with, especially with these premix colors, they open up really nice. The only problem I've ever had was if I use too much silicone, then the cells kind of just blow out. Like, see, I think there's a little too much maybe in that one. But these cells will continue to grow for hours after I'm done. And eventually they'll, they'll be done growing and I'll be able to clean the silicone off and then resin them. Yeah, that baby blue is actually starting to show up. Oh, okay, yeah. Right, so probably have a little bit more. I don't want them to grow to the point where they're crushing each other. Although that is an interesting look too. I have done a set of coasters where they kind of smash in on each other and it was a symmetrical design. So, um, that's way too much. Okay. Uh, it was a symmetrical design and it created almost like a checkerboard looking pattern in it. It was really cool looking. Sometimes they just don't want to grow. I don't know what you do. But I really like the way that baby blue and the little dark blue is kind of poking through. Very pretty. Is there static in the music? <clears throat> I'm not actually monitoring the music right now because I don't want it to feed back through the microphone. And I'm not wearing the headphones because they're huge and bulky. I could plug them in to go monitor that sound real quick and if it is annoying to somebody's ears I can definitely turn it off. Disappointing. Hold on, guys. Let me finish these up and then I'm going to go into the audio settings real quick and see if there's something I can do to that. There might just be some kind of feedback coming through microphones. Uh, 
Oh, now it's gone. Oh, I didn't do anything. Or, or it was just the force of will with my mind, and I fixed it, but I doubt that very much. Alright, those cells are growing pretty, pretty well in there. So, I'm going to use my little heat gun deal, and see if I can get it to react a little bit more. Oh, now it's there again. And it might also be because the microphone that I'm using right now is this webcam's microphone. Because for some reason my other microphone won't actually work when this setup's plugged in. Let me hit this thing with the little heat gun. Try to make some more happen with this silicone maybe. Those are just really pretty little cells. Here, let me plug this thing in real quick and see if I can tinker with the sound and get it to fix itself. this plugged on right now will probably get rid of it which would be interesting if it did so music monitor hmm yeah I'm not hearing any static in it on this end turn this back off to not monitoring it but if it if it becomes an issue for you guys just let me know and I'll turn I'll turn the music off the music's just for to fill some of the the silence when it happens it might be doors and yeah, it's no big deal all right so as you guys can see the cells are starting to grow to the point they're pushing off the uh the coaster itself but I do like how it's got all that baby blue in it. This one's a very dark one though. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these, and get some new cups, and pour a new set. This new set will probably be, um, a set of coasters with the same paints, but with silicone mixed in it, instead of just the bare, um, adding the silicone. It won't be, it'll just be a flip cup with cells instead. I really love those uh, deco art extreme machine colors though. Those things are amazing. I'll be right back guys. I'm not ignoring you, I promise. Ears, fellas. I'm sure that was very loud on y'all. But I had my first little mishap. Knocked a bunch of coasters over. There we go. Yeah, the chameleon cells tend to dry all kinds of crazy. Hold on, let me grab that other set of coasters I did the same way. I used the same hair serum, I used the same paints, everything, and they ended up crazy good. Something I've been trying to recreate in these coasters for a while, but I just can't seem to make them look the same. So I'm gonna set them down. Well, no, there's paint on those cups, so. But yeah, so this is what they look like. There's one there. And I mean, they 
they ended up really nice. Like little horseshoes almost. So, yeah, they, they came out really good. And it was the same types of paints with the same uh, coconut oil hair serum. So that's one set that I'm going to be trying to sell. I only have four sets of coasters that I actually made ready to sell. And I don't want to go to this market with, uh, with you know, not enough. And then if people want, wanted more and I could have made more sales that way, then kind of out of luck, you know? All right, so same, same concept, uh, except silicone in the cups this time. All right, so cups. Yeah, they are like kind of like a tortoise shell, which is super cool. All right. some gold to this one too just to because I love adding metallics to these things metallics are just beautiful got you live in acrylic paint pouring group what do you mean oh you broadcast me in there is that what that means I'm pretty computer illiterate, so you could ask Doris too, like she helped me figure out the whole <laughs> streaming thing. Her and Tish both couldn't get my camera settings right for the longest time, and it was, well, that, that's cool, thank you. Okay, so the gold I'm going to be adding is that gold that I used, uh, Spoke Art Treasure Gold, and it's super brilliant, it's really bright brilliant color. I absolutely love it. Oh, well thank you so much Rebecca, that's awesome. I absolutely love this color gold. It's crazy. Like I did not think I was going to be able to walk over into a Walmart and come out with something really nice like that and I'm super happy that I went in. So these colors are already really fluid, but I'm going to add just probably a teaspoon or so of Floetron because I like the way it helps the cells develop better. It's not really necessary, I don't think, but it does help me get more cells developed inside the colors. So I'm just going to mix them up. All right, baby doll, be safe. I don't know where that came from. Don't ask me. He doesn't know. All right, so here's that. I'm going to actually bring this little folk art gold into the camera frame so you guys can see that, like, it's not mixed yet fully, but just the colors, it... Crazy. It's a crazy gold color. It's really beautiful. Uh, that seafoam color is actually, it's an aqua green in the Artist Loft premix colors. So yeah, so right now I'm using, I want to say it's crimson, red. Let me see. Yeah, the, the red is just crimson. The light blue aqua is just uh, aqua, aqua green, and then the purple is it's just violet. The Artist Loft premixed violet. All right, so now I'm gonna add some more. I think I need more flow draw on this. This isn't flowing like the rest. I don't want to have a bunch of different consistencies. That's true, Rebecca. That is kind of interesting. I never thought of it that way. All right, I think 
this is gonna be a good mix now. I think it's gonna flow a little. Yeah, it's flowing pretty good now. All right, so let me get my cups. And we'll start this whipped up. We'll add some silicone to each one. All right, so let me add this coconut oil hair serum. I'm gonna put one or two drops in each color just because they are smaller cups because they're for coasters. Uh, typically on like an eight by 10 fanning, I'll use maybe three to four drops total in, in the amount of colors I use just because of the difficulty. It, it's so difficult to clean this stuff off canvases, especially if you're trying to finish it with a resin or with some kind of top coat. Even the spray, the spray acrylics, uh, the clear coats, i found for me, sometimes they still pit and they, they don't cover just because of the silicone on the canvas. So I try to use as, as sparing of amount of this as I can. Because I definitely don't want to, you know, be spending hours and hours cleaning it afterwards. And that's typically what happens. So first, first layer will be this red, just because you know me, I'm particular to reds. I love reds. And I'm gonna put the gold in because when I flip the cup, this gold should interact with the other colors also, adding kind of a metallic sheen to every one of the colors that it flows through, in addition to popping through and providing those gold cells. We're hoping. In the violet. And then I'm going to layer the, the gold again. Yeah, the cleaning part doors is a nightmare. So bad. It is by far my least favorite part. Absolutely. I haven't found anything else that will provide the cells that I like, though. Because yeah, some people can use, I think you can use uh, alcohol to a certain effect and Dawn dish soap. Oh, Rain-X. Hmm. I've never heard of Rain-X for cells before. That's, what is your mixture? Is it, do you use it the same way? You just uh, drop in a couple? So I'm kind of pouring up from higher, so this, these colors flow through all the colors beneath it. And we'll do gold again. There's gonna be a whole lot of gold in this one. So. One of these days I'm gonna be brave like Doris and I'm gonna make me a set of coasters out of resin. You know, uh, everything I've ever seen Doris do is, for the most part, working with resin. A lot of you guys are the same way, too. That's pretty cool. I just, I don't know, that whole resin process, that intimidates me. Because I know with resin, it's, it's more expensive. If you mess it up, it's pretty much not going to get fixed. Oh. <laughs> huh. Well, I'm definitely going to have to try that out, Rebecca. That sounds like a great idea. Especially if it just evaporates on its own and I could just slap some resin over top of it if I wanted to. Because right now, the, the way I'm going to deal with it is what I saw from Smart Art Material, her video, that I think she published it yesterday. She just applies like a barrier coat over the top and it works. Like it, it prevents the silicone from interacting with whatever layer of, of top coat you're putting on it, whether it be resin or acrylics. So I'm gonna test it out today. I mean, she suggested it and she said she does it herself, so I'm sure she's, she's correct. All right, so now we're ready. Uh-oh, what's going on there? Stay. Oh, now they're all doing it. And that's why I tape the back of my coasters. Because I don't want to have 
Happy accidents are cool, but unhappy accidents. I don't want those. They can keep those unhappy accidents, you know? Min Max Polly. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to take some of your advice because for the longest time I was doing it, apparently I was doing it the hard way. With uh, like, not baking soda, but baby powder and dusting it on and it would stick to the silicone, leave it there for a few hours and brush it off then Windex in water, then rubbing alcohol in water and repeat ad infin infinitum forever. But yeah, that Rain-X, oh, I'll try it for sure. Oh wow, okay. That just came out of the cup for real? Okay. Oh wow. See, I used too much paint, so now it's already starting to flow too much. Oh my goodness. Did you look at that? That gold is intense. Alright, let me get gloves on. It's gonna be a long day of gloves. Yeah, the coasters are coming out great today. I don't know if it's, I don't know, just luck or... Yeah, they're coming out well today. Thank you so much. Once I put this down, after I stretch it, you'll be able to see what I was talking about with the, kind of the metallic interacting with and all the other colors and kind of creating that shimmer in all the colors instead of just the gold. And the Artist Loft uh, Flow, the pre-mixed gold does the same thing. It does it a little better actually. That was the color gold I used in those coasters I showed you a second ago. Alright, so we got it. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see those right now, but crazy looking with the shimmer and all those colors. Okay, so let's stretch. Help these corners out a little bit so I don't have to pour too much off initially. I love that lace, that gold lacing and that purple, so I'm gonna try to keep that if I can. At least as much as I can anyway. Just since it's already starting to flow over the side, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to maintain that. But yeah, these are coming out nice. I like these. Ah! Crisis. Oh no. <laughs> well, that one's going to be interesting. I'll, I'll stretch it. We're, we're going to fix that one. That was one of those unhappy accidents. Goodness gracious. <laughs> All right. Well, it actually is adding kind of an interesting effect to it, but I still need to stretch it. Yeah, oopsie daisies, right? Whoops. All right, so I need to fix this one. Yeah, it almost like scratched so much of that off. I'm gonna try to stretch this part, just this little purple area over that bare part, and then we'll hopefully be able to work this out. Mm, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Oh no. Yeah, now see, I'm disturbing the cells so much by stretching it like this. Maybe I have to bring some of that back and fix it. Yeah, well, accidents happen. It doesn't look too bad. It does not look like the rest. I might almost have to mix up more color and do it again. But... Well, yeah, that's true. I like to think of this as with painting, right? And, and a lot of other things in life, too. Um, there's no wins or losses. There's, there's wins and then there's lessons. 
Because you're gonna... You didn't lose anything. Because everybody... We grow through adversity. That's where the most growth happens. I mean, I know I'm not like a life coach or anything like that, but me personally, I've learned that I learn the most from my mistakes. So I kind of almost welcome them. I mean, yeah, they're, they sometimes they can be painful, but they, they cause growth. They kind of make you step out of that comfort zone and you're forcing yourself to experience some kind of growth. The side of your head? Oh no, what happened, Rebecca? What'd you do? Hey, Graveyard, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. It's a super professional area here. All right, Tammy, that was awesome. I'm so glad you came by. Thank you. Thank you so much. But yeah, this is a super professional stream and um, accidents don't happen here. So if you just joined us, nothing happened. It's no big deal. All right, so now that my hands are completely covered, I don't know if I want to try to re-pour that or if I'm going to let that just be the way it was. Because there are some spots right now where you can see the white porcelain underneath. And I don't want that. I would like it to at least have some kind of coverage, you know? So, let's see. If I can just drip on some color. So it looks native. Like it was supposed to be there. So I gotta be careful because there's all kinds of colors down here. I don't want to get them greens mixed in there. Alright, well, I mean, this came out okay. Even with that little minor fumble, you know? But I'm gonna hit it with that heat gun. Gosh, there's so much paint on the canvas right now, or on the, uh, the tape. I'm half tempted to... I'm gonna have to do that after the stream, though. I'm not gonna make you guys sit here and watch me move everything and make a big bubble of the paint in the plastic and just drip it on coasters and see what that does. I'm kind of curious. Oh, wow. There's all kinds of tiny little cells popping up. That's pretty. That's crazy looking. Mm. I know I'm, I'm hitting it with a little more heat than I probably should, but I'm really liking that effect there. Oh, well that's also a good idea. Hi, Acrylic Poor, how you doing? I'm so glad that you could join us. Thank you so much for coming out. Yep, so today's like a coaster marathon, but we're glad to have you here. We're just a big, happy paint pouring family here. All right. Trying to scrape a little bit of this paint off. I don't want to drip all over the floor because then I get to get hollered at because I'm getting paint everywhere. I don't know, what do you guys think about this one here? Do you think I should report or just leave it alone? Oh. Yeah, you could do that, Tish. As a, like, pour it as the base coat. That'd be pretty cool. It's a rather useful idea. Uh, you don't ever have any problems with the silicone that you used that poured off, right? So you put silicone in your colors, pour it off, and then you use that as a base coat. If that silicone contacts your canvas, does that stop the paint from adhering? Or have you never had that issue? Oh, there's some green in there. there. Huh. 
Ah, ok. So when you say no report, just don't report it or yes report it? You think it's fine like it is, Graveyard? Okay. I mean, we have... I still have th three other sets of coasters I need to use. So I'm going to step aside here and move these to another table so I can continue with this madness here. Um, if you want to, what colors do you want to see? I think I have a very diverse set of colors, so if you ask for it, I probably have it. I'd be interested in what kind of color palette you're curious to see. And since it's the live stream, I can ask you guys for your feedback and actually do something that you want to see. Uh-oh. You don't have a cup, huh? I know one color, uh, one set of colors that I'm gonna use is gonna be. If you guys have seen that the live stream I did with um, Doris, the very first live stream I ever did, that purple, blue, and light blue, I'm definitely gonna use that mix coming up. But is there any colors that you want to see? I don't use silicone much, so I'm not sure. Yeah. So I'll show you the shades of blue that I have available right now, and you could tell me yes, no, maybe so. Uh, there's some blues. I think this is the same. Right? Yeah, cerulean blue. I love cerulean blue. It's a pretty color. Um, let me see. All kinds of greens. I think that's a aqua green. That's a green. That's not blue though. All right, so besides that, we have there's a whole bunch of colors that are pretty much the same shade. All right, purple's also good. Anything metallic, yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Tish, like that's my, my weakness right there. All right, so we have this Artist Loft Thalo Blue. There's, there should be enough in there for me to be able to mix it. I don't want to mix the pre-mixed colors with the medium body paints, so I have the cerulean blue here, and I'm debating on the aqua green within it. So dark blue, burnt sienna, white, and orange. Hmm. Alright. Curious here. Purple's also good. All three. Okay. We can definitely do that. You know what I noticed? I didn't have my coffee this morning at all. Probably should have made some. Then I could say I'm having coffee with Tish too. I almost wish I had like little smaller cups because I love doing the multi-cup flip cups just with really contrasting colors, kind of like this painting in the background. I don't know if you guys can see it, this one right here. Um, the yellows, the reds, the purples, the blues. It was just beautiful. And there's too much paint for me to put my scale down here, so I'm just gonna, we're gonna wing it, guys. All right, so the cerulean blue. This fatal blue. There's not too much left in here. Mm. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. Alright, that's 
about probably a teaspoon, tablespoon ish. The metallic orange is not metallic enough. I, yeah, I haven't. I don't think I've ever bought the metallic orange just because I'm not really particular to that color. Really, I don't know why. I don't think I have anything against that color. I just don't typically use that color very often. Unless it's a fire and ice kind of thing. Again, with the really brilliant contrasting colors, then I will. But other than that, no, I haven't. All right, so let me mix this with the flow trawl. I also want to try to do a ring pour on here. So I have my other medium over there with just glue and water to help it not, because the flow trawl tends to It'll make some cells and it'll disturb the, the fine lines if I use it. So that's definitely enough. sticks. I really can't speak to how grateful I am that you guys came out. This is this is crazy. Turquoise and orange are my thing. Oh. So is there any anticipated uh, date when you're gonna when you'll be healed enough to where you can do that kind of stuff and it won't cause you uh, pain, Tish? Hey, Marguerite. I don't know how to say your name. I, I want to say Margaret, but I'm terrible with names. Oh, no, Rebecca, don't do it. All right. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. And I appreciate all those lovely comments you guys give me on my videos. You guys are awesome. So all these are medium body, so I'm going to have to dilute them a little bit with water to get them proper consistency. Because right now, even with the uh, flow trawl in them, they're still pretty thick. Right the first time, Marguerite? Okay. I'm shocked I got that right the first time. All right. So this is you can you can probably see like that's no that's that's way too thick. So I'm actually going to add a little bit more flow troll to it too because I don't like diluting it too much of water because I tend to I'm always worried that I'm going to break up the bonds in the paint and that they're not going to. The cells structure and all that will fall apart and they kind of break apart. I'm, I'm sure you guys have experienced that before where that's happened. And you have something gorgeous and then the cell structures start falling apart. It's terrible. Hey Doris, how's that music going? Is it still staticky on your end too? Ready, guys, we're getting there. Cleaning goes good, by the way. Greetings from Europe, from the Netherlands. How you doing, my loud art? I love the videos you've been posting recently. I try to make it a point to make sure I watch them and stuff like that and show you guys support, just like you guys show me, and I appreciate it so much. It's awesome. I have to schedule MRI today, kind of, after it's done. Oh no, a slip disc? I hope not. Yeah, I hope, I hope that it isn't a slip disc. I hope it's something a little bit more simpler than that, so that way you don't have to deal with that kind of pain. That's terrible, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry to hear that. 
All right, so the paint's still really thick, so I still need to add some water to it. Oh, thank you so much, my love. So in the, in the Netherlands right now, it's rainy. Is it kind of like your spring right now? How's the temperatures over there? Recently, I had to do a physical for the army and getting out. And I think they x-rayed every part of my body. It was really an intensive screening process. Apparently, they didn't have any of the concussions in my medical records or anything, so I had to go let them know about those in detail and talk about them. And I'm still waiting on the, the results from that. Four MRIs. Goodness. Eight Celsius? That... I'm thinking that's cold. I would grab my phone, but my hands got paint all over them. I'm not sure what that is in, in Fahrenheit. And I'm, I don't math well, unfortunately. All right, so we're ready to add silicone. So we're using the cerulean blue, the phthalo blue, this, um, aqua green and I added a little bit of a darker kind of color a dioxazine purple by Liquitex Basics just to give a little bit more contrast between actually need a little bit more water a little more contrast between that light blue and the light green so we have two dark colors two light colors All right. get some cups to pour into add the silicone and I will try my best not to drop the coaster on top of the other coaster again. But, you know, happy accidents and all that. That was way too much silicone. I put, I think, three drops in the purple, so. Oh, 46? No, you don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault that I don't know basic math stuff like that. That's kind of, that's kind of on me, you know? Hey, Ms. Nay. Oh, you're from Las Vegas, Nevada, huh? Woo! Party! I know, but you live there, right? I have a friend that lives there, and they're not. They're like, hmm. Yeah, I try to stay off the strip as much as I can. That's the way my buddy is, anyway. I've only been to Vegas twice. I loved it both times. But I'm sure as a tourist, it's totally different. I don't have to deal with the day-to-day -day traffic and the day-to-day, -day, you know, all that stuff. All right, so we're going to start with purple. Hopefully, purple will be the last color to come out. You know what? I probably could be layering them like this so that you can see them better. All right, so we're going to start with the purple. Then we're going to switch it and go to a lighter color. Just trying to get that, that contrast in there. So the cerulean blue, it's a very pretty color, very pretty color, I love this color. Yeah, you never go to the strip? Yeah, you sound just like my buddy that lives over there. Uh, him and his boyfriend, they just got married and uh, he, he is the same way. We had to drag him out to the strip when I went there. He's like, I don't ever come out here, I hate it out here. Yeah, I almost had another accident, huh? I almost spilled this cup. But I mean, I'm sure it's the same. You know, you can live somewhere and it's totally different than if you're just visiting. I remember my first tour, um, well, my first duty station in, was in Hawaii. And at first, I absolutely loved it there. I, I wouldn't want, I didn't want to move. I wanted to stay there for my whole career. And then, yeah, fast forwarded 
two years into my tour there, and I couldn't get off that island fast enough. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool, Tish. You guys are going to Vegas in April. Well, gamble some for me. Do you know what hotel you want to stay in? There's so many to choose from. I had a pretty good experience in New York, New York, when I stayed there. And then I stayed in the one, I don't remember the name of it, but it's right across the street from New York, New York, the second time I went. It's like a night type stuff. It's got like nights and all that stuff. Oh, Florida. That's my alma mater. That's where I'm from. I'm from Daytona Beach originally. I miss Florida. I mainly miss the thunderstorms though, and everybody thinks I'm crazy. I'm like, why do you miss the thunderstorms? I don't know. For me, they're relaxing. I, I get a lot of relaxation just listening to the rolling thunder and the, the rain pounding on the roof. You know what I also miss about Florida is, some of you might not know where they are, but Florida windows. They're like the ones where you crank them and there's a bunch of glass slats and they open and they let the breeze in. Hmm. Miss that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I could imagine. Super hot over in Vegas in the summertime. I wonder if that affects tourism there, if a lot of people try to avoid that area, but I would say probably not, right? I bet you year round there's people. The locust invasion we had last time? No, I didn't hear about that at all. Was it bad? I mean, I know in, in Florida, too, they have locusts, like a season, them and love bugs. Love bugs, I don't miss those. But I know they're loud and noisy. That's, that's one thing I didn't like about them. All right. Now we're about ready to make this mess a reality. And I'm going to try my best not to drop it. Was it terrible? How long did it last? Like, how long did that little locust invasion thing last? Did it last a while? Yeah, I enjoy the... I love rainstorms, thunderstorms, all that stuff. I, I was half debating moving back to Florida just for, you know, being close to the beach and being able to go to the beach whenever I want, and then the thunderstorms. And then the winters are fairly mild. I don't really winter well anymore. All right, so let's flip these over. Let's make our mess. Um, I hope. Oh, jeez, look at that. In the middle there, it almost looks like a little flower. That's crazy looking. And I know under all this is that purple color. So as it gets stretched, it's going to open up more and more cells, and you're going to see more of that purple. Wow. Oh, this one didn't really sell up too much, did it? We're going to fix that one, though. It will. Right, gloves on. Down in the 30s, yeah. If I can avoid 30 degree weather, I will. Absolutely. All right, we got the gloves on. Let me pop some of these bubbles, maybe hopefully activate some of the silicone in this one a little bit more. And get some cells popping up through that purple. You can do it, come on. Get some of these bubbles popped. There we go. All right, now we're ready to stretch. So, get that cup off the bottom. I think that's part of what jacked it up last time a little bit. 
because there is a cup on the bottom. I'm a pretty clumsy anyway, though, so can't really blame the cup. Feels like springtime. That's. I don't know. Like if it was 30 degrees, and if I remember, in, okay, I can I can identify with that though. When I was in Alaska, like you get used to the temperatures, right? So our summers was, uh, yeah, it would get to the 60s, 70s, but I, that was short in t-shirt weather everywhere we went. We're walking around flip-flops in 60 degrees, like, so I can, yeah, I can understand how it could make, you know, you get used to it in the colder weathers. Thank you so much, Marguerite. You guys chose these, so with the exception of the purple. It was, it was viewer's choice with these ones. I'm trying not to make another mess by dropping this one, so that's why I'm not interacting with the chat right this second. So, trust me, I'm not ignoring you guys. That came out really pretty. This one is nuts. This one needs some work. I don't know how we're going to fix that one, but we will. Thank you, Doris. It's all because of that coconut oil hair serum. I used to use that high temperature silicone. I think I even tried using that blast off stuff the, uh, in the can, the spray can, where you spray it in your cup and then, you know, pour your paints in there and then the paints come out with just silicone everywhere. And goodness gracious, that was a lot of silicone. It was it was a pain too trying to clean that up. Ooh, I probably dream of it. Oh, negative thirty, Tish? No, thank you. If I, mm -mm. you guys want to hear a cool story of when I went to Alaska, Astroglide? <laughs> yeah. I bet. Okay, so let me tell you this this interesting story about Alaska. All right, so this was after. Remember, I told you I was in Hawaii and I couldn't get off the island fast enough. Okay, so I re-enlisted for another three years, and they gave me a duty station of choice. So I chose that I wanted to go to Alaska because I was never going to go to Alaska on my own. That's just not something that I'm into. I'm not like a big outdoorsy person. Uh, hunting and fishing. I've never really been into that. I've never really experienced it, so I wasn't into it. But I also knew that I would never go on my own. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to Alaska. So, in December, it's it's a, a nice, cool 70 degrees in Hawaii. Uh, it's pretty much around 65 to 75 year-round. So I'm in the airport, getting ready to fly to Alaska in December. And I don't even think about it. I don't think about the temperature at all. Um, so I'm, I'm in the airport and I'm like, yeah, I got my long sleeve t-shirt on. I got my blue jeans on. You know, I got I got some, I'm not wearing sandals. I got some socks and shoes. I'm, I'm good. Okay, uh, long story short, I was not good. I get to the airport and the airport's so small because it's the one in Fairbanks. So it's not the one in Anchorage. So the airport's so small that the, the plane can't even dock to the airport. It's one of those where you gotta walk off the plane, walk across the tarmac, and walk into the terminal. So we get there, and the flight attendant comes across the loudspeaker. It's a, I'm gonna use your thing. It's a balmy minus 30 degrees. And I was like, are you serious? So it's negative 30, I'm walking off the plane in my long sleeve t-shirt and blue jeans. And oh my goodness, those people in the airport, they were ready for people just like me because they were selling snow pants, snow jackets, beanies, gloves at ridiculously outrageous prices. Like they were ready for me. Like, oh, hi, sir, would you like to buy this snow jacket for $300? Why, yes, I would. Please take my money. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my Alaska experience. That was my very first day in Alaska. 
stepping off the plane, freezing, freezing cold. It was nuts. All right, so here's this last one. We're gonna see what we can do with this one. This one did not come out as well as the others. Maybe when I stretch it, the cells will open up. Because this one needs some love. Yeah, you guys talking about all that KY stuff? I'm gonna have to go try me some. You guys are definitely uh, talking it up. I'm trying to get this to stretch, but it ain't wanting to stretch now. There it goes. There she goes. Thank you. It's a good coaster, thank you, appreciate that. Yeah, see, even all these have some really brilliant lacing in them. You got a couple of the multicolored cells with the, that uh, dioxazine purple is pushing through. So now I need to hit it with that uh, with that silicone there. Or not silicone, yeah. I'm gonna hit it with the silicone. No, nope. hit it with this heat gun and see if we can get the silicone to interact a little bit better. it's working on this other one over here a little bit I'm gonna use it a little bit more than I, I typically would just to really heat up that silicone and hopefully make some of it rise to the surface because it, it didn't sell up quite as well as the rest yeah I didn't want to get off the plane baby doll not at all goodness we've been going at this for an hour and a half I, I apologize to you guys I did not realize that this was been going so long um, I'm gonna end the live stream here but thank you guys so much for coming out and if you're here during the rebroadcast if you like this content consider subscribing to the channel because I put out content like this every Monday every Thursday and I'd love for you to be here and engage with me in the comments um, again thank you Doris thank you baby doll thank you Marguerite for being here thank you Tish so much uh, Thank you guys, all you guys, for your support. I can't speak to how much gratitude I have for you guys coming out and showing me some, some love. Um, and on that note, I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate you guys. All right. Take care.